off, putting it off, and it's finally time. We gotta do it. We're gonna put the hardened steel and hardened steel and new bearings on the A1. So, maintenance time. As the Queen of Hearts would say, off with the head. So, we're gonna pinch the sides and pull. There it goes. We got the head off. So, we're not just swapping the nozzle, we're also gonna be doing the extruder. Just take your silicone sock off. Little clip here, one handed. One handed. <laughs> no, not right. There it goes. Boop. There it is. And technically, if you're swapping the nozzle, just put it in, clip it back. But we're not doing that. We're going to switch out the extruder. Because if I'm going to run some type of abrasive filaments, something like a carbon fiber pet G or a carbon fiber PLA, I want to have a wear resistant nozzle. Whereas the older nozzle, that's a nice stainless steel one, but that's going to wear out pretty quick with uh, any abrasives. You're going to take the new hardened steel one and that'll take care of your abrasion problem. So let's go ahead and unpack our extruder here. From the inside, we're going to take off our screws. So in your kit, in the A1 kit, you should have a nice little Allen wrench here. And we're gonna go ahead and remove this. All these screws, oh, 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 oh. Number one most important thing. Ah, just in case. <laughs> All right, so with that unplugged, we're gonna go ahead and unscrew the head. And if you're changing your cutter, here it is right here. And ours looks pretty good. Nope, no chips, nothing on it, so we're good. We're gonna let that rock for a couple more hundred to a thousand hours. Uh-huh. And you're also gonna wanna remove your top screws on your four-way separator. Should be able to wiggle that loose. And there we are, holding this cage together so it doesn't go flying. Oh, we got a lot of filament buildup in there as well already. So we're gonna switch this out. Let's go ahead and remove the tension screw on the side here. Watch your spring, not to lose your spring here. We're gonna replace this old one with the new set here. So we remove this. And we moved out our old gear. We take a close look there. It was already getting some gunkies in there. And new. And then the older one that we've been using for a little while. So we're gonna switch those out to get a little bit more bite on that with less wear. So, let's get these installed. So since we're in here, we're gonna go ahead and swap out. It did come with two new bearings. One's gonna be on the back side of the plate here. And the other one's gonna be inside the actual extruder gear housing. So, we're gonna remove those out. Simply push. Oh, well, these are nice and <laughs> so don't want to go. Oh, there it goes. There we go. We push that one out. We're gonna put a new one in here in a second. After we pull the other one out. And there you go. Just put a set of pliers in, pop it out. And you got your two old bearings going out. And we're gonna install the new ones going in. And slide it in. You're gonna do the same on the back side.
And we can go ahead and install the hardened steel extruder gear. There we go, right in there. All right, so we're gonna have our little pin here that goes behind the screw and the head here. So in this little gap area, you wanna make sure And this is what the spring pushes up against, like so. Hold that in place as we install the gear on the shaft here. And we're going to put the tension back on it. There we go. As we install the gear. So now we can go ahead and tighten down our gear here. Well, that may be a little bit too tight. We're going to have to find out as we put everything back together. Hold that over just a smidge. And we're going to reinstall the face plate again. And as that's held, line up everything. And you can release that. And we can really change the tension on it once we have everything reattached. And we're gonna go ahead and put all the screws back in place. So we wanna go ahead and slide back on our PTFE adapter here and screw that back in place. There we go, that's nice and fastened in. That's a little snug, so we're gonna loosen that up just a smidge for our filament path. There we go. At least has some kind of spring to it rather than none at all you know since we're in here anyway we might as well go ahead and take care of the scraper it, it it's got hours on it let's switch it out should just pop down pull out and then you just put and uh, slide in a new one don't cut yourself but that's it that's all there is to swapping it out why not you're gonna guide it all the way through to the other side There we go, we have our filament cutter in place. We should be good there. And now for the screws. I have one way in the back here, which I should have done before I closed up the face plate. But I got it, it worked, we're good. All right, so that's on, we have three more screws to go. And I have one here. One up top here. And one on the bottom here. We're gonna go ahead and tighten everything down. Make sure it's all secure. And that's our extruder gear exchange. So now we're gonna go ahead and switch over to the hardened steel nozzle. Just gonna slide the magnet side. The magnet side goes in. Just open it up. Push up. Push your clip in. Are we seated? Yes, we're seated. There we go. All right, so now we're locked in place. And again, we're switching out new stuff, so it's an older nozzle. We're gonna go ahead and, ooh. Yummy. We're gonna switch out to some new silicone nozzles. All part of upkeep and maintenance on your printer. If you don't do it, it's gonna fail you at some point. All right, we're good there. So if you wanted to, you could switch over your spinner to a different thing. If you wanna print one, you just put a new one in here. But we're keeping the original one for right now. And slide our top on. Yep, all in all, we've done a decent job of switching it out. The question is, does it work? So we're gonna go ahead and feed it some filament and see what happens. And we are purging filament, so 
Looks like we are good to go there. All right, so with that done. Yay. Look at how pretty that is. Mmm, carbon fiber. And I'm gonna have to say it's printing carbon fiber just fine. Just like I thought it would. So yep, yeah, going with our carbon fiber PLA for a test print. So we're test fitting a mount that I made and we'll see if it fits. And there we go, part is complete. Looks pretty good. So slight design flaw on my part. That's not the printer, that's my actual design, so I have to clean that up. But I think the part printed out well. Let's uh See if it mounts. Mm. I can get a little closer. I want it to be, and it mounts correctly, but I'm really trying to reduce that space there. This gap so it can sit flush. So, yeah, we'll do a little bit more tweaking. <laughs> 